Pair Deck for the Math Classroom. This is video two. We're looking at the whiteboard interactive slide examples. So basically any math problem, you can have the students complete right on the slide on the virtual whiteboard. I love this. I use it all the time for in the class as well as for the distance learning program. So here's one example. You do an actually check, you know, factor 6x squared minus x minus 35. Here's another one. Uh, here's a question. I actually did this the other day. I had a quizzes assignment. I want to make sure I could see the work. So students were given this to kind of help them with the factoring. So they had to factor and solve this by factoring method. So here's all the work I wanted to see. And then I had a quick check for accuracy using quizzes for the 10 questions that they did. I can get their accuracy score as well um, versus not having to check every problem that they did. So it was beautiful. Here's another one, CFU question, right? So uh, I can have lots of questions on one slide here. So the students can go through and answer each question right on the slide. And then I will see all their response. Uh, here's another example. So by all means, this one I put all on one. But I want to do a check for understanding the other day um, with this. But you could broke this into separate slides if you liked as well. It doesn't have to be all on one slide. Uh, here's a sweet one for you know, multiple representations for linear equations uh, that you could have the students do and show you. Here's a classic. This one's actually one of the templates I took from Pear Deck, and I just made it my own. So this is just a solving of an algebraic equation. Here's another template from Pear Deck. Um, graphing, I just gave my own equation to it and made it my own. So that's what we had. We made these in our slide deck. But now, how do you see what's going on here? So the students went in. They went joinpd.com. They entered their code, or you had the link form to get in. And so now you want to see your students. So in your pair deck dashboard, you are in the lesson. And I can see all my students. Now, I'm only a student here. I didn't want to show you one of my real classes with all the students' names for, for uh, having that on the internet. Um, so anyway, I just have just myself in there, so it's not that exciting. But let's say you want to take a closer look at what I did in here. Oh, so you can see the work. And if you like this one, you could, in a live classroom, you'd star it to share that one out with the class, and they would, no one would know that that was from Mark Plank. Look on this one, oh, I get this once in a while, right? They put something on the slide, ID, IDK, I don't know, maybe a sad face here. Um, they put something down um, so that you can, it looks like they did something, you might not catch it if you're looking through your whole class. So you gotta be careful there. Um, here's another one. So this was a CFU and I used the typing. So as the kids go through, they could actually type on the slide. And this one showed you different ways, writing the answers, um, showing the work on the slide. Here's one. And it's waiting for response a little slow. It didn't, it didn't have anything on this one. That's why it doesn't show anything. No one responded yet. And if you had a whole class, it would say, oh, Mark Plank did not respond to this slide yet. So you can see who's not participating on that one. Uh, this one here, here's the work. Again, you can look at all your students at once. Um, or you can just look at one student and kind of scroll through the list here. And here's the next one. So these are beautiful for seeing the work, whether you're in a live class environment or if you want to look at students' work from a distance learning approach, I uh, love the whiteboard feature for that. Let me just show you from the student's perspective again. So here's, the, here's what I was filling out as a student. So again, I could have typed in here. Some students prefer to type. So you can put this in here, and they could have went, okay, it's going to be 2x minus 5 multiplied by 3x uh, plus 7. All right, so they can type, they can draw. I, how do I make the box? I actually use this the, the line tool here. You can change the this, this slider, it changes the size. If you want a real fat line, you can make a real fat line. So this is how you change it, um, especially with a writing instrument. Some students, you want to teach them how to use that, right? So it's easier when you get the smaller tool. Sometimes the default's like this. You get kids sometimes writing with a real thick pen. So you want to teach them how they can change it right here is how they change that. Um, 
Next slide, here's the IDK one. Here I just use the typing tool in this one, but I could have did different colors if I wanted to. You can see all the different options you have. Um, this one I was, when I was scratching them out, I was just changing the color each time as I was scratching. So I was getting the, the highest and the lowest, the highest and lowest back and forth and changing colors as I went through that process. This one I didn't fill out at all because I wanted to see what it looked like when it wasn't responded. It didn't show up the way I wanted to show up where it has my name saying did not respond. And then this one here, again, if I wanted to use the pencil on this, we could have. And it could have showed, could have went, oh, I want to show a distributor property here. And we could have wrote it out um, right on the screen. 3x minus 18 plus 2x plus the 8 equals 50. It might be sloppier, right? But you can do it and show all your work and process there. So... That was it for the for the line. I actually just used the line tool. So I clicked right there on the line tool. And then I used my slope and where my winer set was and started the right spot um, for that one. They could have did with freehand as well if they wanted to. It obviously wouldn't be as pretty of a line. They could have done so. And that's it. So that's the, the main bread and butter right there is the whiteboard. The virtual whiteboard is fabulous for the math classroom. You can you basically do any problem except for ones that just take lots and lots and lots and lots of work that you have to show. But anything else you can do right here in, in Pear Deck.